Yeah, you haven't been uh, shy about talking about, you know, no. your childhood and growing no. up and the problems that a, a teenager can have. Nope, not and, at all. And uh, when you see something like this, you know, it would have been nice to have in your day, I guess, right? I mean, yeah, it would have been nice to have these type of things in my day, um, but they, in my mind, they didn't exist. I didn't know any any organization that existed like this, and if they did, I certainly didn't know about it. So I'm very happy to see that there is something like this to help people, and I'm especially glad to see so many young people that have come out to uh, support this. Because it's a, you know, it is an awareness thing, I guess, because you were saying at another event that I guess you just need to get by that one moment where you're feeling so terrible. That exactly. It's, um, it's prevalent and people really don't want to deal with it because there's a stigma attached to it. Um, but you have to be aware of the warning signs. Uh, it does happen. As a matter of fact, I got a call from a friend this morning who, um, son at age 20, last night attempted suicide. He's in the ICU unit at Shore Medical Center and I'm going down to visit uh, tomorrow, but it, you know, it happens. And the teenagers are under so much pressure these days with bullying and being made fun of. When that happened to me, when I was a teenager, when I went home, it was over. But now, when kids go home, it's on social media. They never escape it. And so we have to fight this and break the stigma. We have to get insurance companies to cover mental health illnesses as if it was a physical illness so that there isn't a 50% cap or a five visit uh, limit on psychiatrists.